Alright, welcome back to part 4 of the Banjo-Kazooie on Xbox Advanced 100% tutorial. Today we're gonna go through FP and maybe Mad Monster Mansion, depends how long this episode will be. So just running through the lair like normal. Nothing crazy. Getting in talent right there and canceling it's actually faster. Very important here. We want to get this Mumbo token right now before going into Freeze Easy, or we'll end up having 19 when we get to the Mad Monster Mansion transformation. Don't need to break the web, don't need to do any FP early, we just head straight in. So this is another level where we complete majority of it as Banjo, but there's a few things we leave for the B later on. So you get these notes except for the last one, grab these two feathers, and we go to Twinklies, same as N64, same as the beginner. Just hit the first Twinkly Muncher and stand inside the box, facing away from them. And wait until 49 seconds and you can start running over towards the tree. So the, uh, the blind shot that uh, people use on N64 for the uh, star switch it's kind of hard on Xbox because of no notches, so I do a different strat that I'll show you that's pretty easy and not too slow. So 49, we can go. And on the second note, I'm going to zoom in my camera and aim towards the star. And that's three. This ice cube can hit you sometimes, but it's no big deal. Now we get these notes in the pink Jinjo. Back flipping up is actually a little bit faster. I don't do YOLO star, but you can if you want to. Just beak bomb through it. Well, that was a mistake, but you get the idea. Just beak bomb through it. Go around through and ground pound buttons as normal wait a little bit use one feather and beak bomb two feathers beak bomb one feather beak bomb and then here I like to use six feathers to get enough height to uh, get inside this pipe jiggy Just like that, and then peck onto the sled. <laughs> now you actually want to get the remainder of these notes now because you're never coming back down this slope. So just make sure you get them all. And then you head inside the tree like normal now if you're running low on resources you more than certainly can grab some in here but I don't need to if you uh, have good management but it's there for you if you need to sometimes things can go wrong start on this note and I know I have enough when I have 30 notes And then out of the tree, you hold forward, or you hold left, sorry, and you uh, go straight through here. Try not to take a hit on the water, it's slow. Zoom in your camera all the way and get these notes. These three notes, all these feathers, and the token, don't forget the token. And then you do snowman. Yeah. 
Most of your time loss in this level can come from getting bad recoils off the snowmen. So just practice them, try and get good bounces off of them. And you should be good to go. Try to aim for the left of the snowman's hat. To get a bounce this way. Set you up perfectly for the beak bomb into the skull. I messed it up, that's fine. Wake Mumbo up before you go grab the stuff. And I like to exit Talon Trot when I get the yellow Jinjo, so I can just land on the pad and press X. Okay. Waller stuff is pretty standard. This honeycomb here should give you a health refill. So if you do not get a health refill from this honeycomb, you missed one in the run somewhere. Grab these four nodes behind Boggy as the walrus. Normally don't do this. But for this route you do. And then it's the walrus race, which is a lot tighter in this route. Because you get a lot more things. So. Not, not the worst thing in the world to practice if you want to. Starts off the same with the right leg notes. And the jiggy. these flags. You want to get all the notes on the houses. All three. Oh no. Well, I'm going to lose the race here, but that's bad. You also want to get the Jinjo and all the notes, but since this is all in a single take, I'm just going to keep going. Actually, I still made it. Wow. Okay. I thought I was going to lose the race, but apparently I was just enough time. Just make sure you grab all the notes and the Jinjo. Grab this note and the token. You can grab two notes here, but it's tight sometimes, so I don't mess with it. And that was a bad push from Mr. Boggy. But yeah, the walrus race is pretty tight because of all the extra notes and the Jinjo you get. Now it's time for Mr. Waza. Don't forget this token. And lay present. <laughs> do 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 do. <clears throat> and we're done with the walrus. Okay, so after you jump into the water here, you want to peck right before landing. It's faster than landing in Talon Shot. I like to get these gold feathers in the health. No downside in doing that. And the scarf is normal. Blue Jinjo is the same. Uh, 
And then your last note should be on top of the house as well. Just two feathers and you should be able to get in a fight. Go until you have 99. And then get the jiggy. And then jump down from the last note onto the flight pad. You don't need to take any damage here. And then give the babies their presents. And that's actually all for Freezy Peak Part 1. The rest will come later on as the bee. So you just exit the igloo, exit the level, and we're good to go. And now it's time to go open Mad Monster Mansion because bit clips are possible technically on Xbox, but there are no reliable setups because of widescreen mode and notches and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and uh, fast forward through this part if you want to. There's nothing really to talk about here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open the level, grab the one token and so on and so on. <clears throat> Chump jump saves a lot of the time. Lure the fish over. Nice recoil boost. This Mumbo token. And the best quick dive in the game that I failed, Lomega Mega Lol. <laughs> Rip. <clears throat> okay, coming out of the water. Enter talent trot while you enter the loading zone. Do three jumps onto this little doorway and you're good to go. 494 again is your correct amount of notes. <laughs> enter Gobi's Valley, or not enter, open Gobi's Valley. You should have five jiggies here. If you have less or more, you did not do the correct amount of uh, Jiggy grabs, so... So, Mad Monster Mansion is one of those levels where it's very movement-based. You could lose or save a lot of time by practicing small uh, life uh, adjustments, you know? Hard to explain, but it's a lot of tight movement stuff. So four notes off the start as the same. Poop an egg to break this window. Then use a gold feather for the cellar. Same as beginner and N64 stuff there. Using the egg to break the Jinjo box. Getting hit by the Teehee. Nice meme. Mm -hmm. 
Also use an egg to break open this window and roll instantly to kill the bat. That's pretty nice. And just flutter off the roof here and into the window. Roll onto the spring pad. Don't need to kill the Champa. Into the next window. Napper skip is possible, so we'd like to do that if you can. I don't, sh I don't do the door teleport because it, it, it's rumored to crash sometimes. But eh, it is what it is. Not that big of a deal. I failed the napper skip, which is no big deal. Nice hitbox on the door. Okay, the maze is the exact same. But you do not want to get the mumbo token. A very slow mumbo token to get. Beehive jump. This jump when the beehive is at its lowest point. Come on, dude. Here we go. Uh, I'll link Asmi's pot tutorial in the description. It's hard to explain, but. I just use gold feathers to uh, kill a couple of them. Flutter onto the top part to get in talent rock quicker and miss the jump like an idiot, so. Get back up on the skull and go across here. Don't forget the mumbo token here. <laughs> and Tumblr. Tumblr is the <clears throat> Tumblr is the exact same as the beginner route. It's a good number. We save all those four notes for during the tumblr tech so we can't skip. Coming up next, we can talk about the Jinjo skip. When you spawn the Jiggy, I like to try to jump and grab the Jiggy after three Jiggy bounces. Failed it, I was a little too late. But you can skip that Jiggy dance by jumping into the water. If you fail it, use a gold feather to get the Mumbo token and the HP. Time for the church. Let's 
So this is kind of embarrassing, but I actually don't have the Mozan cheat sheet open. <laughs> and I, I still don't like 100% remember it, so if I fail this right now, it's going to be really embarrassing. We'll see how good my memory is. I always like to have it open, but I don't have my computer with me. Alright, we're good. I remembered it. Nice, nice. I personally don't think grabbing this Jigian fight's worth it. So... I just get it now. Two rolls, three rolls onto the flight pad. Floor feathers onto the witch switch. Ah, uh, thank you. Grab the honeycomb, roll off. Flutter, take some damage. I can't avoid using a gold feather here, but I, f I messed up the movement, so it's whatever. Some extra eggs won't hurt either. And then you got your last pot. This should be your 20th Mumbo token. That fall damage isn't supposed to happen, but uh, it did, so we're fine. Into my little skull, time for the pumpkin. Pumpkin's pretty standard. Don't forget the Jiggy. Token in here. No, a lot of people forget the Honeycomb. So we'll try not to do that either. So right now I'm at 3 HP. So I'm going to grab this HP from the bat that I killed earlier, give myself four. Now this sync token is a backup if you miss one somewhere. So you get the Jiggy and two gold feathers, lower yourself back down to two HP. I always like to do two HP well, not a fan of one HP. Coming up to the final stretch here. 
You can get these gold feathers if you want. Pretty quick ones. I normally do just to do it. And that's Mad Monster Mansion. GG. So, just as normal, you come to the water switch room. And it's just the exact same as every other route. After the switch, you're just going to save and quit. Since you can't reset your console fast on Xbox, save and quit is just as good. Gold feather here if you want it. And that's Mad Monster Mansion. I'm going to end this episode here. The next one will be Gobi's Valley. So, stay tuned for that.